Hi, it's Linda with CreativePLR.com, and I found a new AI tool that I really enjoy using. I wanted to make some coloring pages for a project that I'm working on. I wanted all types of coloring pages, and I have to tell you, I cannot draw a straight line. Uh, well, maybe a straight line if I'm using a ruler, but other than that, I don't consider myself a very artistic person. I'm creative, but not artistic. So I'm always looking for tools that can help me achieve what I want. And I'm in, it used to be called Styler AI, and now it's Dezine, D-Z-I-N-E dot A-I. And it does a couple things that Midjourney just doesn't do as well. So I'm going to go to New Project. And the first thing I'm going to say is I want the text. I'm going to call this Lunch. And I'm going to apply that. And then I'm going to go over where it says text to image. And I'm going to say, first it has the styles up here, which is one thing I really like. All of these styles are available. And you could go down here. You could have a very minimalistic type coloring page, or you can have a coloring book page. And there's several versions of these. So I'm going to click coloring book. And I'm going to say, uh, let's see, hamburger fries, and a Coke on the side. And that's all I'm doing. I'm going to say generate. Now, I will say it does take longer than mid-journey. I could make 40 images in the time that it takes to make four here. And uh, I'm not sure I even need 40 images, but I can get that many images while it's taking this to load. So it does take a little bit longer. However, I'm really pleased with the results. And it does some things that I didn't expect it to do. So you see it's starting to pop up over here. And it's just a darn good coloring page. So let me take a closer look at it. That looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. That one looks pretty good. A little more minimalistic than this one is, but that's okay. So pretty good coloring pages. So if you're looking to either create some coloring pages for a project you're working on or sell coloring pages, this certainly is a great option. Now let's go a little bit further with this. Let's click to upload and I have a few things here. Here's my wizard. And I already know how the wizard turns out because I played this a little bit before. I'm going to put style intensity and I'm going to put it there. And I am going to say, third with line art, no color. Now, even though I put no color, it, it really likes that purple color. And sometimes I get a little bit of that purple there. I didn't even find that a problem because with the purple there, it, I was thinking, well, if you're doing a coloring book with wizards or witches or things like that, of that kind of theme, you know, having one that's partially colored would make a great idea for the cover. So it didn't even bother me that the purple was there and the rest of it was line art because I could find a reason for it. But let's see if I type in no color. I think I had a success with that last time. And so it gave us this which is not the exact image, but it looks pretty good. And so any one of those would be great. Or you could try it again. You could say style intensity. You could bump it up a little bit. And you could say generate. Now, while it did give us the wizard and it all is line art, so it's great. Let's go up and I want to show you the difference when I click image to image. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go back to my coloring book style. I'm going to type in again, wizard with no color. And you'll see down here, it does have a thing where I can say color match. And if I do that, I'm going to get a very similar image to what I have now. I'm going to say structure match. I'm going to take it down just a little bit. And style intensity, I'm going to take that down a little bit too. And I'm going to generate that. I'm going to see what we have now. And so now we have something that looks a little bit more. It's not quite finished yet. But you can already see it looks a little bit more like the original image. So even though I uploaded the image, this previous set was going more on my text prompt than the image. This current set 
is using more of the image that's more of an influence. I really like that too. That looks great. A little more simplistic. Um, that I think is going to be my favorite, although I do like that one. So you can do that now. So you can take an image that you have, a colored image, and just by using that coloring book uh, style, you can turn it into a coloring page. So think of all the images you currently have that can suddenly become coloring pages. So let's try one more thing. I'm going to upload, I'm going to get rid of this, and I want to upload another image. And this is going to look like a strange image to upload. So I'm using the Enchanted Elegance style. It looks like that. has a bit of fantasy around it. I want to see what that looks like. And I'm going to first, on the structure match, I'm going to go down a little bit, but I'm going to bump the intensity up. And I'm going to take the color match off and I'm going to generate it. And you can see that it gives us a colored image that's very similar to what I have. Now, I don't have a white background, but if I want it to match, I can put it more in the center and I can say intensity is about a medium as well. But these are very pretty wreaths. They're not exactly the same as it was the, the image that I input, but I'm going to try it again well, now that I've changed it just a little bit. And of course you could go through and you could make different styles, change the, the style and see you know, how much that has to do with the final output. And they're starting to come up now and you can see by just changing those buttons a little bit, the style intensity and the structure match. We do have a blue background, but we also have something that's very similar to the original, the red berries, whereas this one had a lot of uh, blueberries and leaves on it and it similar color, but different. Now let's go over to coloring page. And I am going to say, I'm going to say no color. And I'm going to try it again and see what I get. And you see now, you've got a coloring page that's a wreath. And they look pretty good. So a great way to make coloring pages from images you already have or by using a simple prompt and using that style coloring book, you can create any kind of coloring page that you want. I hope this was helpful. Subscribe and like so you can see more tips about tools and creating things to sell. Until next time, keep creating.